Hi, my name is Dr. Sophie Thorold and I will be presenting this concept map on urinary retention. We have on this diagram an overview of different causes for retention. We have the general causes over on the left hand side, including um, Cordero-Aquana syndrome, paraplegia, multiple sclerosis, post-operative causes, drugs, etc. We also have the intraluminal um, causes, also known as strictures. These are where there is um, a narrowing caused by something within the actual um, tubing um, of the urinary system. Then we have the interluminal, where there is something blocking inside the um, tubing and then we have the extra luminal where something is pressing on the tubing and we will go through these and how to split them up in different ways and over the next few slides. To start with I wanted to um, differentiate between retention and anuria. Anuria is um, when you're not actually producing any urine so your kidneys are not producing urine to go into the bladder and it's not coming out. Retention is different in that your body is producing urine, but it's not able to come out of your body. We're first going to look at chronic urinary retention. So this is poor urine output. It can be painless and they can have hesitancy. They can be overflow incontinence. This is over a significant period of time and is usually less painful because it gradually builds up. We start on the flow chart looking at is the patient male. We're going down the route of yes, they are male. They're over 50 with obstructive lower urinary tract symptoms. This includes um, hesitancy, dribbling at the end of um, passing urine and general difficulties um, with the stream of passing urine. They also have an enlarged prostate on PR examination and then we look at these red flag symptoms so fatigue, weight loss, haematuria, bone pain and a craggy feeling prostate and significantly raised PSA um, to differentiate between prostate cancer and BPH benign prostatic hyperplasia. BPH is m far more common than prostate cancer. We then look at if the patient is female and do they have symptoms such as a dragging sensation, stress incontinence, increased frequency of urination and difficulty passing stools. If they do have these symptoms, we could think about um, a pelvic prolapse. So this can be called by a cystocele, uterine um, prolapse or a rectocele. If they don't have these um, symptoms, we can move on to the category of either male or female patients. We now move on to causes that can apply to either men or women. So do they have le obstructive lower urinary tract symptoms? Yes, they do. Do they have a history of an infection, instrumentation or trauma? If the answer is yes, we can consider the diagnosis of urethral strictures, which are more common in men than women. If the answer is no to the question of history of infection, instrumentation or trauma, we can consider the diagnosis of the pelvic mass. This could be benign or malignant, and it's an external compression of the urethra. If the patient is female and has painless menorrhagia, um, we can consider the diagnosis of fibroids, which is benign. Going back to the question of do they have obstructive lower urinary tract symptoms? If the answer is no, we can ask, do, have they had any visual problems, any problems with their balance, any problems with um, their bowel as well? If the answer is yes, we can consider the diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. We now move on to acute urinary retention. So this happens over hours and is usually much more painful. Again, you can feel the bladder on um, palpation or percusset. There'll be suprapubic pain, an urge and a feeling of needing to urinate, but there'll be reduced urine output. So firstly on the flow diagram, is this a common cause? 
Yes, it is. Is it an infective cause? Yes, we can look at UTIs and either if the patient is female or male. In a female patient, you get the suprapubic pain. It can be pyrexial and you would have positive findings on a urine dip. It is called a cystitis. In males, <clears throat> we may have um, prostatitis, which is causing these symptoms. They will be over 35 years. It can be acute or it can be chronic if it's over three months um, in duration. There will may be perineum, rectal, penis, scrotal, bladder or lower back pain with this, pyrexia, pain on ejaculation and a boggy feeling prostate when you examine them by PR. If the answer is no to infective causes, could it be iatrogenic? And this splits into post-operative, so less than 72 hours post-surgery, or it could be induced by medication. So that includes anticholinergics, such as antihistamines, antipsychotics, antidepressants, opiates, or detrusor relaxants, or also anesthesia. Some less common causes of acute urinary retention include pain, pregnancy, constipation, or cordary quina syndrome, or paraplegia, or myelitis. Thank you for listening to this concept map presentation of urinary retention.